Robert Evans was founder of the Chicago Defender. Born just five years after the end of the Civil War, Robert Abbott founded a weekly newspaper, the Chicago Defender, one of the most important black newspapers in history, in 1905. Without Abbott, there would be no essence, no jet, no black enterprise, no the source, no the undefeated. The success of the Chicago Defender made Abbott one of the nation's most prominent post-slavery black millionaires. Along with the beauty product, magnate Madam C.J. Walker and paved the way for prominent black publishers such as Earl G. Graves, John H. Johnson, and Edward Lewis. One of the first African-American self-made millionaires was the founder of the Chicago Defender, which became known as America's black newspaper. Mr. Abbott started the Chicago Defender in 1905 with an initial investment of 25 cents. His newspaper became the most widely circulated black newspaper in the country. The slogan he established for his paper, American race prejudice must be destroyed, reflected his belief about what the ideal experience should be for black Americans or any American. He used the pages of the Chicago Defender to not only encourage people to migrate north for a better life, but also fight for an even better lifestyle once they arrive. What's cash to spend? Go to the gym February 11th during lunches. Hey, if you want to be in the Beyond Colts News Prize, spin, spinning the wheel, you can be here um, giving a shout out to anyone you want, or even be a guest uh, news anchor for, for the day. get better at basketball. You can join basketball club every Tuesday after school. <laughs> Man, I'll never be good. Actually, if I keep attending basketball club, then I might just be good as Shaquille O'Neal. Here I go. Oh. Court. Yeah. The sit down shot. Yeah. and she has something to say about the anti-slayer policy at River Heights. Good morning, Colts. Thank you for tuning in this morning to our amazing Colts news. I am bringing you the latest and the greatest information on what's going on at River Heights. So, River Heights has an anti-slayer policy because at River Heights we have high expectations for all of our students. An anti-slayer policy is taken very seriously when students make remarks or slurs against other students, families, staff members, or members of the community. Do you know what a slur is? A slur is speech, for example, epithets, threats, verbal abuse, use of profanity or derogatory comments that make reference or perceived um, to be real about someone's ethnicity, their age, their origin, their immigrant status, their religious beliefs, their gender, their sexual orientation, their age, disability, political affiliation, manner of speech, or any other physical or cultural characteristics. A slur also includes spreading rumors, jokes, notes, stories, drawings, pictures, or any gestures that make reference to real or perceived any of the above that were just noted. Any student who directs a slur towards any other student at school or at a school-related activity who is reported to the school for making the slur is subject to the disciplinary action described below. Consequences may include, but not limited to, a phone call to parent guardian, if appropriate, a conference or a conflict mediation may occur, 
there may be the following people involved, students, parents, administration, counselors, or other staff members, school community service, and a written apology to students or the other staff that may be involved, ACP or loss of school privileges for the remainder of the school year, and if the offense is severe enough, there may be suspension and a behavior contract. We want you to know what a slur is and we do not want to hear them on our campus. Make it a great day the Colts way. Thank you. Happy birthday celebration. Party night could feel the vibration. Lights are bright, we're feeling all right. We're dancing till <laughs> Tonight is the night